unusual forms of isotropia. Have you heard this any time be beforehand? Coming to non-accommodative late onset isotropia. The term suggests that isotropia has appeared late. So it mostly occurs between 2 to 5 years of age. It is seen especially while focusing on near objects. But these kind of children has definitely a family history of strabismus. That is 34% family history of strabismus is there. 41% chance of amblyopia risk is there to the child. And definitely there is a reduced binocular function. Okay, so these kind of isotropia should be attended at the earliest. Why? Because it can disrupt the binocular function and it can develop lazy eyes. 41% chance is there of development of lazy eye. So treatment option you should give a full hypermetropic correction if the child is having hypermetropia. Do a cycloplegic refraction and give the full hypermetropic correction. And in the simultaneously, you have to treat the child for amblyopia. That is very important because if the amblyopia can be treated, your job is done. Prism adaptation to uncover maximum amount of strabismus, you can give uh, prisms, uh, base out prisms along with the hypermetric spectacles. Surgery is uh, done if it is needed only. And we have to properly align the eyes, so you have to fight the amblyopia, develop the binocular function. So these are the goals, treatment goals, okay, in case of late onset isotropia. Now coming to very one of the rare form of isotropia that is acute, acquired, committant isotropia, AAC commonly known as. So this is a very unusual form of isotropia that occurs in children and adults and there is a sudden onset of convergence squint. Sometimes the child, we see that the child is mostly engrossed in mobile phones or any electronic gadgets and holds a mobile phone very near to the eyes. Okay, so nowadays in lockdown period, the children are doing online classes, but do not never allow your child to hold the mobile very close to the eyes. It can develop an acute, ac acute, acquired, committed isotropia. So be very alert in these things in this regard. Okay. So coming to the types of AAC, AAC can be of dif for different reasons, okay. Type 1 AAC is a Swan's type, it occurs following occlusion therapy. If the child was having, previously was having amblyopia, the eye was patched for a longer, the good eye was patched for a very longer duration. So the child can develop type 1 AAC. Type 2 AAC, this is a burian Francetti type, there is a large angle committant isotropia with diplopia. And there is mild to moderate hypermetropia, but correction of this hypermetropia does not improve the strabismus. So there is a large angle strabismus, committant strabismus with diplopia is present in type 2 AC. Type 3 AC, this reported by Belchowski is and related to uncorrected myopia of minus 5 diopter or more. The child is developing isotropia. Usually seen following a stressful episode, this variety is more advanced at distance and the patients may be orthophoric for near. So distance there is isotropia and there is orthophoria at near. As the child is uncorrected having minus 5 refractive error. Now coming to the treatment goals of AC. Primary treatment goal is to preserve the stereopsis. If you can develop the stereopsis, your job is done. So try to give empty suppression therapy. Try to develop the stereopsis. Correct the uh, eye. Full Give full hypermetropic correction. Prism correction. Give prism correction is required. And do give the vision therapy exercises to develop the stereopsis. The computer games will help, okay, to improve the binocular function and the child should con uh, completely stop using those mobile and gadgets. If nothing is possible with these things, if there is no improvement, so eventually there needs to be done bimedial recession surgery.
so first treatment first uh, conservative treatment is to develop the stereopsis this is very important if you can develop the stereopsis that is much better for the child now coming to the another very rare type of isotropia that is called a cyclic isotropia there is a recurring pattern of straight eyes alternating with large angle isotropia means the child is having straight eyes normal straight eyes for 24 hours next 24 hours the child is having a large angle isotropia okay cycles up to five days have been reported so on this uh, this is very odd thing okay so when the child is having straight eyes for 24 hours that time the child is having good binocular function but when the child is isotropic the child is the child is not having binocular function there is misalignment and it eventually leads to constant pravismas over years if left untreated be very very careful it needs to be treated at the earliest cyclic isotropia you cannot leave it like this so surgery needs to be carried out at the misaligned days means the when the cycle where the child is having misalignment in the eyes that time the surgery needs to be done why because because on straight days if surgery is done so over correction can be there over correction or under correction can be there so surgery is to be carried out when the child is having the isotropy in the misaligned days botulinum toxin can be given to the medial rectus and use of prisms after the surgery you can give prisms and all uh, or before surgery also like on the misaligned days you can give prisms and vision therapy eventual vision therapy and all so be very careful about this unusual or rare forms of isotropia these got this gets unnoticed actually so we need to intervene at the earliest thank you all